I don't even know where to start. Um, I'm going to say a couple things as they get brought to my heart. Um, number one, do not fear. Stop it. <laughs> do not listen to the world and the media and the social media platforms, your friends, your besties. Listen, these people eat Tide Pods sometimes. Stop listening to the world. Focus on Jesus. Read your Bibles. Spend quiet time with him. Don't even don't even spend too much time on YouTube listening to people like me. <laughs> You can actually thwart the voice of God and what he's trying to specifically say to you by spending too much time listening to his other voices. Yes, he has given us, some of us, some of his kids, a calling to reach out, to talk to you, to make videos, to share dreams, Yes, that's a calling. Yes, some people do that. And sometimes you'll need that. But you don't need to be an echo. God didn't create you so that you could twinsy somebody else. God created you uniquely for a purpose that is, that is yours. And if you don't learn to listen to God on your own, if you don't learn to hear from him and to have peace and to get quiet and to be still, if you continue to fill your spirit with garbage, with junk, and I'm talking about the television shows you watch, I'm talking about the, the articles that you read, I'm talking about the TikTok videos that you can't get away from. I'm talking about your Facebook scroll. I'm talking about your Instagram. I'm talking about all the things that you're inputting into your eyeballs, into your brain. All of that stuff sinks down into your heart and it makes fruit. Is it good fruit? What's the fruit of hours on social media? And I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to myself when I say this too. Because this is something God is telling me to do also. Is to refocus on him. Because things are coming. And if you don't have the focus. And if you can't hear the Lord. And if you don't understand what he's saying. And if you don't know his voice. Because you listen to him in the word. Because the Holy Spirit speaks to you. In the still quiet voice. If you don't have that. Then you're going to get into tricky spots because things are tricky there's a lot of deception going on out there there's a lot of things there's an enemy who's looking to derail your progress and he will do it simply by distracting you listening to sermons 30 times a day does not substitute for reading the word on your own. Again, I'm telling myself this as I'm telling you this. It's just as much for me as it is for you. And if you're like me and you're finding yourself just in this rabbit hole of, I think I'm listening to too many people, I suggest that you do what I'm feeling led to do. And today is, it's, uh, it's 1056 on, um, gosh, what's today? May 13th. I'm going to fast starting tomorrow. Heaven help me. I'm going to do a water fast for as long as I possibly can. And I have, I, when I'm fasting and I'm doing it, I love it, but I hate to start a fast. Like the starting of a fast is the worst for me because I know that one of my weaknesses is food. And one of my, my, especially in the past, one of my addictions has been food. It's not a debilitating thing, but I know, I know that I have an issue with food. And so the beginning of a fast is like a real battle for me. And if it is for you, you're in good company. Ask God how to do it 
how he wants you to do it, what he wants you to do. I like to go straight water because if I cheat with a coffee in the morning, sometimes it's like, well, I had coffee, maybe I'll have a, and I just need to go straight water for a couple days and then maybe I'll do some liquid. But my intent is to make this as long as possible. And if you want to do that too, I suggest, and every time you get hungry, have a Bible near you or have your Bible phone, or have your phone with, with whatever Bible app you have and you need to read some scripture because that is the bread. That is your bread. Man cannot live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And we have got to use the word as our bread and not the bread as our bread, especially if you're in quarantine. I know everything's a little tight right now. So take this as an opportunity if you're feeling that tug fast with me, not just for yourself and for the benefit of hearing the Lord and hearing his direction, but also use it as a time of prayer and fasting for our country, for our government leaders, for our legislators, because they need prayer, y'all. Um, mostly because I think they're they're a hot mess. Um, I know that we have not ever seen things like this before, like at this this whole whatever's this whole thing that's happening. Um, it is unprecedented at the time. You know, we we've not ever seen anything like this. Um, however, we they they are taking advantage of certain things, whether they mean to or not. And so we need to pray that God's will be done in our legislators and, and pray for our president, pray for his family, pray for, um, the, the, uh, pray for the, the first responders use this time as a fasting, a, a fasting and prayer to get a little deeper and get a little closer with God. Because if you're like me, you're feeling that need to hear better. I just, I know that I need to hear better right now. And I know the answer is a fast. I've just been putting it off because I hate fasting <laughs> or at least starting it. Once I'm into it, I'm like, yeah, this is great. But the beginning of it is really hard. Um, so I'll pray for you. If you think of it, pray for me because it's good that we encourage each other on, on, a, on a fast. Um, and, and may God be with all of you. Listen to his voice. Turn off the TV. Turn off the negativity. Turn it off. We need to refocus. All right. I love you.